Hello, my name is Isabella Green. Welcome to Soul Stream Sessions, where I tell stories from out of this world. Today, I'm going to have a very short talk here before I let you uh, listen to the recorded message that I recorded during the session, the channeled message directly from the Antarian aspect of the client's uh, Soul Stream and the reason why I want you to hear that entire message is because it has so much for humanity at large that I feel that it is important to check this out, check out this entire recording. But I will quickly just now tell you about uh, the client herself. She came in with questions that had to do with feeling unworthy. And can't we all relate to that, right? She said that she early in life had ability, she was able to lucid dream and travel and had visions and had visions of beings and then by the age of about 30 she became uncomfortable with all that and asked it to go away and it went away and ever since she's been trying to get that back and it has not been happening. In addition to that she had a, um, let's just say volatile childhood uh, as many of us did, and uh, that imprinted her dramatically with the sense of the, or the state of being of lack, and also the sense that other people had better lives than her, and so she developed resentment, and she developed jealousy towards those who seemed to her better off than herself, and so she struggled with all of these feelings and that also reflected in her physical condition as it always does as our bodies really show us what it is that we're feeling internally and so then she started developing her meditative technique and she came across uh, the meditative technique of Dr. Joe Dispenza and she started doing the breath and meditations and still she is continued to feel that she is unworthy to connect to the higher realms or unworthy to step forward into what's available to her. Meanwhile, she is a professor at the university and she teaches landscaping, the science of landscaping. I don't really know what the proper term of that is, but oh, the architecture of landscaping. And even with that, she's all was all torn internally because she wasn't sure if it's the right thing to do, if she's good enough to do that, and on and up. It's natural when a person is feeling unworthy, they will reflect that and, and experience that in every aspect of their life. I observe that with clients so frequently, the most talented, the most beautiful, the most advanced people feel like nothing, feel small, feel inadequate, feel super uncomfortable with themselves and so they're literally standing in their own way and they're literally standing in their own expansion. But here in this channel and the Ontarian aspect that stepped forth, told us a very interesting fact about where that comes from. And so I want you to hear this uh, firsthand in this recording. This recording covers incredible guidance uh, about a landscape and the law of oneness on Earth, uh, where all systems are interconnected. It really, the aspect really explained what this person's role was, but I think we can all learn from what these, uh, the channel message said. He also explained, he meaning that Ontarian aspect was a masculine, he also explained uh, that um, what kind of energies are projected out into the world when the person is in resentment, when the person is in jealousy, when the person is trying to do energy work on others but they're internally experiencing this feeling. So 
it is very important to know also about the gifts coming back how to get them back so this channel message is very rich and I want you to hear it yourself but one more one more thing I want to say here so we went through the session the channeling message came in and then the client told me that she was quite blown away because she said that she had these ideas that the higher self brought to her 20 years ago and that she was trying to implement them or teach them or bring them forth within her profession, within her um, teachings and they fell to the deaf ears like no one got it, no one wanted to hear, no one was listening and she said that the week of the session few days or that same week of the session she started remembering these things suddenly <laughs> after we already had an interview and we already were prepared for the session she suddenly remembered all that and she went and she lectured to the new group of students where she was presenting these ideas and they actually were very enthusiastic about it and she said oh I had this thought like wow the new ones are here and I felt really excited about it and the higher self talked about exactly that and exactly those ideas and I noticed that with those who have really hard time with those who have difficulty trusting themselves or difficulty trusting that they have a purpose or that their purpose is big enough of course the ego wants to have a humongous purpose one person changes the whole history of reality but it's not that way it's just the ego structures that make us think that we have to be huge to make a difference here uh, for people who have these kind of feelings inadequacy was brought up by the channel and within the channel so for people who have this kind of feelings I noticed a little trick that higher selves are doing they would talk about the things that just started happening for the ones who are in session and they literally would be blown away they would say how did they it's incredible this just started happening just this week or just two weeks before the session or just after I talked to you myself um, after the in during the interview and after that all that started coming in and then the, the higher self would come in and chime in and tell them the things that are already they already got a little bit of a taste for that it's already possible so I observed that in a few sessions and I thought how cute is it or how awesome is it that it's a little teaser like the higher selves uh, use that as a little trick to get into the consciousness of the people into the minds of the people that have a lot of resistance to themselves to their journeys to their well-being to their abundance all of that and mainly trusting that they have a role in this uh, reality so here we go here is that wonderful channel and for you I learned a lot and uh, I hope you do too there we go so now I'm going to see if I can ask either one of these beings to provide guidance for you one second I feel Ontarian aspect coming in Hello dear one, I am quite pleased that you have decided to connect in this way today. We have been quite active with the humans for quite a while as the habitat that you occupy on your planet is very similar to our habitat. We enjoy expanding and exploration. We have been looking for expansion of our habitat and we're now presently incarnating into human forms at least partially as a part of the human DNA is human DNA is literally like a soup of various kinds of DNA including our DNA 
we come in with humanity to assist humanity in understanding of their connection to their land and different life forms that occupy this land. This connection has been lost by the present time throughout the ignorance and the arrogance that has overtaken the consciousness of the human race much earlier in time when humans lived in tribal communities they were way more in touch with understanding of how everything is interconnected within this planet and how the planet and it supports every life form in a loving manner and that it is required uh, by uh, the law of uh, oneness for the human beings to be supportive back to the planet itself. It is quite fortunate that you have decided to study a the form of expression of that understanding, the form of shaping the land in a benevolent manner. Perhaps from this moment and on you would realize that it is important to shape the land in a way that is beneficial for ecological health of this planet and also for the health of consciousness of your race. The humans need to return back to understanding that they are organisms on the surface of the planet. They are cells of the fabric that constitutes a life on your planet. And if they do not catch up with being the loving and supportive members of that ecosystem that will destroy the very planet that they stand on and live upon. It is imperative that human beings understand uh, the depth of connection with all life forms plants and animals and rocks and crystals and the land itself, especially water and also human beings as a part of that system. You within your heart has always knew that uh, things need to be changed and things need to be different and one of the reasons that you went into that uh, landscape and studies and work is because your heart is driving you in the direction of assisting the planet and the human race to restore the understanding of how to work with the land in the most benevolent way. You are to bring it into your heart that it is not about beauty. It is not about how beautiful the lawn looks or how pretty the person's private property is from the perspective of physical beauty or the standards that humans created of how the land is supposed to look like but it is important to organize each private land and collective land in the way that assists the planet in processing and growing and expanding and supporting itself with assistance from the human race. 
you have learned and studied this subject and you are also in the position to teach this subject and perhaps going forward you would deepen your own connection with benevolent way, ecologically sufficient way of landscaping, and also teach and create these kind of layouts similar to what you were doing in one of your incarnations when the terrace agriculture was created in ancient China during one of your lifetimes. You were one of the creators of that idea back in the day and then in following incarnations in that part of the world you were the one building and also designing these terraces to benefit the human race but also to continue staying in ecological balance with the mountains and the land of uh, that area of your planet human race needs to return to connection with the land perhaps communities need to be created where people are working and operating with the land sustainably you could potentially be one of the leaders of that movement as you have credentials in this field and people will listen to your recommendations your education will serve you as a door opener into this field might you decide to expand into sustainability landscapes and on your desire to be of assistance to the sentient beings which are animals and also plants and also all life forms as all life forms have consciousness is natural as we in our habitat live in harmony with all life forms as much as possible you can connect with all life forms telepathically and your beautiful companion of the canine kind is there to practice with you and also allow you to learn how animal telepathy works you could just sit there and think really intensely and observe that your dog would respond to what you are projecting through telepathy uh, the same way things work with all other kinds of beings and animal kingdom you can practice with your dog to perfect the skill of telepathy but the plants respond just as well as the animals do and so do the people however the people's consciousness is polluted with ideas and the animal kingdom consciousness is pure the plants and the animals are in harmony with each other the insects are in harmony with the plants and the animals everything supports itself and supports everything around themselves everything works and operates in perfect harmony everything except the human race this is why it is important to step forward 
forth as a conscious being and to start teaching and creating uh, the new ways of understanding uh, the connection with life forms and also connection with the land. Uh, this, if you wish, is the purpose uh, that you have in this lifetime. Uh, you are free to follow this purpose or to not follow this purpose. It is entirely up to you. However, at this time, every Every awakened human being carries thousands of sleepwalkers on their shoulders. So if you do choose to step forth into sustainability and landscape, and that is to assist uh, the planet, uh, the animal, the insect kingdom, and the birds, you will be doing a great service to the planet, and you will join the multitude of awakened individuals who are pushing the course of evolution of consciousness on this planet forward. Uh, there is no small role to play within this process. Every role in, is significant and you are required. Your assistance is required but is up to your individual free will. As for the obstacles to your own expansion, it has to do directly with the state of consciousness that you allowed yourself to drop into. Emotional processing is required to elevate your consciousness out of the place of lack and victim into the space of divine neutrality and unconditionality towards the world regardless of how uncomfortable the world looks you are perfectly capable of carrying your inner space sacred and pure and that would assist not only your own well-being but also the well-being of the people around you and uh, the environment around you as your energy will ripple out into the world. It is important to balance your own inner state and to find an anchor and to embody the state of divine neutrality within yourself prior to doing energy work on others as you share your unbalanced internal state with others when you bring the energy of your field into the field of others who receive Bond. It could be beneficial for a short term, but it is not the optimal way of bringing forth the healing energy when you experience the feelings of resentment and jealousy. These feelings literally operate as what the humans call jinx. The jinx onto the ones that you are looking at with jealousy or resentment because your mind believes that they are in some way better than yourself. This is not the benevolent energy and it is important for you to understand the consequence, the energetic consequence of these feelings. So everything returns back to inner work and realizing that everyone on your planet has a problem. Everyone on your planet has insecurities. 
just about everyone on your planet has to go through breaking through the state of being of unworthiness or feeling not good enough this is 99.9 .9 percent of your population as this is the conditioning that has been deliberately created within your reality to keep the human small so you feeling inadequate and not good enough to receive everything in your life is a part of that conditioning that has been passed through generations onto yourself and it can and it should stop with you your inner work into the space of calm balance and peace and realizing that if you really look you have enough if you really look you have abilities if you really look you are connected if you really look you are way better off than a lot of other people on your planet if you really look you will know that you have value and that value is required within this reality and that it is time for you to embrace and understand that we understand that humans have been significantly damaged through conditioning into unworthiness but and now is the time when humanity is returning into their natural the most innate state of being where your abilities are available to you and that path is through emotional clearing you were born with the whole set of abilities that you decided to shut down and it will be easy enough to restore these abilities as you drop fears of your own inadequacy and also fears of interaction multidimensionally with multiple realms uh, the meditations that you are pres presently practicing and the breath work are exceptionally great tools for allowing yourself to have glimpses of multidimensionality of your own essence and then also to assist you with your emotional processing as you continue asking for your skills to be returned to you they will restore gradually all you have to do is state to yourself the intention of wanting to have the dreams once again the visions once again uh, the access once again and all of that would be provided as you continue removing the filters and the fears that you have installed within yourself know that you are a physical body you are an incarnate you are a physical form and you are stronger and more tangible than any of the non-physical experiences that you might have just keep that in mind and know that you have strengths of consciousness where you can always ask for what you want to see and also ask for things that you do not want to see to be removed and so it shall be you are the creator of your experience and it is now time to fully understand and embody that state we are always within reach through your meditative practice or otherwise we are telepathic same as the rest of the beings around you and we can always be accessed if you wish to continue 
this interaction at a different time. Know that you are greatly loved and always supported. And if you choose to join the ground crew, so to speak, all the light workers on this planet, you will be embraced and received with gratitude for generations to come as every little action that you bring into bettering of the environment of this planet will ripple out into the better future. And wasn't this informative, right? Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. And if you'd like to have a session with me, you can reach me at isabellagreen.com. Please send me a session request form and we will set up an introductory interview to get the ball rolling. And otherwise, I'll see you next time. Take care now. Namaste.